Getting into C++ for Unreal Engine is exciting until Visual Studio 2022 slaps you with errors or traps you with endless built-in IDE loop. I've been there and today I'll show you 10 fixes that finally got me building without headaches. Let's dive in. Tip number one, the usual cleanup, but with a twist. Like everyone suggests, I deleted the binaries, intermediate, saved, and .vs folders, then regenerated the project files. But no matter what, I kept hitting the built-in IDE loop. What finally worked was installing specific Visual Studio components that most guys don't tell you about. These aren't under the default tab. They're hidden in another section of the installer. I've linked the full list of requirement components in the description, along with credit to the person who helped me figure this out. Tip number two, install the latest .NET SDK. Don't rely on the main .NET tab in the installer, you'll miss it. You'll find .NET 8 under the Individual Components tab, along with Microsoft Build Tools you'll need. If you skip this, Unreal will scream at you with version mismatch errors. Tip number 3. Check your Unreal Engine version. Sometimes your project magically switches versions. Maybe by accident, maybe because your 5-year-old clicked a button. Right-click your .u project file, switch it back to the correct Unreal Engine version. Then. Delete those name folders, binaries, intermediate, etc. Then regenerate project files once again. Do a clean, then a rebuild in Visual Studio. This usually clears version mismatch headaches. Tip number four, configure tools for Unreal Engine. Inside Visual Studio, click Project, then click Configure Tools for Unreal Engine. This syncs Visual Studio with Unreal Engine's build settings. It updates missing paths, environment variables, and makes sure your project knows how to talk to the correct engine toolchain. Tip number five, don't nuke the wrong folders. Delete binaries, intermediate, and save all day long, but do not delete content, config, and source. If you do, your project is toast. Always back these up before you go folder cleaning. All right, before we move on, quick side note. I only share tools I've actually used, and this one made a difference. When I was developing my game, I hit a point where I couldn't focus. Too much caffeine, bouncing between Discord and half-finished blueprints. I was just vanished. What finally helped me was Brain.fm. It kept me in a flow long enough to finish features I've been stuck on for weeks. Honestly, some of the hardest systems in my game only got done because of it. There's an affiliate link in the description if you want to check it out. It also supports the channel. No pressure, but if you ever struggled with focus, it's worth a look. Tip number six. Install the right Windows SDK. Unreal still relies heavily on Windows 10 SDK, even if you're on Windows 11. Make sure you got both installed. If your builds keep failing with cryptic platform errors, this is usually the culprit. Tip number seven, verify Unreal Engine. Open the Epic Game Launcher, then right-click your Unreal Engine version and hit verify. Sometimes the engine itself is corrupt, not your project. Tip number eight, test with a blank C++ project. If nothing works, create a brand new blank C++ project. If that fails too, the problem is in your project. It's either Unreal or Visual Studio. This is the fastest way to figure out if your setup is rotten. Tip number nine, open the right solution file. Don't open Unreal Engine.sln. That's the engine's development. Always open your project.sln. A ton of people get stuck just because they opened the wrong file. Tip number 10, keep Visual Studio and Unreal in sync. Every major Unreal update shifts the tool chain requirements. Make it a habit. Update Unreal through Epic Games Launcher. Run Visual Studio Installer by clicking Modify, then update your workloads plus components. Rebuild your project. Keeping these two in sync prevents 90% of future headaches. So that's my 10 fixes for Visual Studio and Unreal C++ build errors. If even one of these helps, drop a comment below. I'd love to know which one saved your project. And if you're still stuck, I'll try to point you in the right direction. Now that you know how to fix IDE problems, let's learn some Unreal Engine 5.6 C++. Click the video to the left and I'll show you how to make a coin pickup with effects in C++. Thanks for watching, devheads.